Hey saddle hunters. I just wanted to take a, a few moments to show you Mark Kama's uh, tree steps that he designed. These are injection molded and super, super strong. Uh, he's told me that these are uh, not breaking at the maximum of his uh, his test site. They're going over uh, well over a thousand pounds and still not breaking. Uh, but anyway, what I really wanted to show you guys is how he included these wings on, on the steps to give it lateral stability. So when you cam these down, they, they're really tight to the tree, first of all. But uh, when you put a lot of side pressure on, they're just not going to move. And he designed these so that these wings will fit into the slot of the adjoining step. So you can take these steps and you can slide them together like this, press them together, and they're stacked up nicely for carrying that way. The issue I was having was that in order to stack them together, you have to take you have to take your strap off because there's not room in there for the strap and for those wings to fit through those um, those channels together. So I got a hold of Mark. Uh, those of you that have dealt with Mark before know he's very accommodating. Uh, he's very interested in, in feedback. He's always looking at ways to improve his products, which is awesome. It's great. I love it. And uh, I always had trouble with the Ameristeps and getting them to stack together and finding a clean, quiet, compact way to get them in and out of the woods. And uh, so... Mark designed these so that they would stack up nice and quiet. But as I said, the problem was not being able to get the strap in there at the same time. So I got a hold of Mark, or I, I emailed him, and he uh, he said, when you have a chance, call me. So I called him, and we talked about this, and we, we kind of brainstormed together of how, how might this work. And he was going to the molder that day and was with, spent several hours with him, trying to come up with a different solution. And uh, I think it was getting a little more complicated than it needed to be. So I said, what if we, I, I asked him first about opening up this channel and he didn't want to uh, mess with that because it would uh, screw up the, the strength and the integrity of the whole unit. So I got thinking about it. And I said, well, what if we took these wings and we shaved them down about a third of the width of what they are because they're not holding a ton of weight. They're not weight bearing. They're just there to give you a little more width against the tree. So I said to him, well, let me try that tomorrow. So so what I ended up doing is trimming one down I actually used a grinding wheel, a bench grinder, turned on the bench grinder, of course, put that flat up against it, put a little pressure against it, and it probably took about 10 seconds. I just ground a little off, looked at it, ground a little more until I thought it was uh, narrow enough, tested it out, ground a little more if I had to, and then I cleaned it up with a hand file. But what that allows me to do is when I put my strap through the channels, that tab now fits inside there with the strap. It kind of snugs the strap down, but you can see what it does for stacking them up. It's awesome. And then you can take the rest of it and wrap it around Mark uh, and I talked this morning then, and I said, this is a winner. Just narrow that one. All you need to do is one wing on each side. And I, I screwed up and I did both wings on one of my one of my pieces. I didn't need to, but it doesn't matter. It's not gonna hurt anything. But so what he's decided he's gonna do is he's gonna keep one side the regular size so that when guys want to stack them up, who are not going to be using them as a ring of step, but as climbing, a climbing method. And you don't want to have these with all the straps already in them. You maybe have a dump pouch with your straps and 
maybe these in another dump pouch. So you pull them out one at a time, you put your apply a strap to it, and tie it on. You can still you can still stack them up nice and tight with the original wing and it fits nice and tight in there. Now I can put the strap through the slats and I can still snap them together like that. And they're nice and quiet. So when these are when these are finished, Mark will have his tabs all on one side, the narrow ones all on one side and the the wider ones all on one side, the same side, so that when they stack together, they won't alternate. I didn't think of that before I ground them and I ground the opposite sides on a couple of them. So mine alternate this way. Whereas when he's finished making the change in his mold, they will go together in a cascading formation like this. It won't slide in because it's not narrowed down, but they'll, they'll just be a little cascade like this, nice and tight. You can put as many of them on there as you want. You can have six, seven, eight of them. You'll have a nice, neat stack. And your strap will be all ready for you when you climb into the tree. And you go to put this around the tree. You can, you can cinch it loosely and then slide these around where you want. They're all ready to go. So, pretty slick idea. And nice changes coming to this that Mark has uh, responded to my simple request of how can we stack these tight together and still have the strap ready to go instead of having to string them all together when I'm up in the tree. Good luck. Like I said, uh, if you have any questions, put them at the bottom. Go ahead and like the, like the uh, video and uh, subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys again soon. See ya.